Hmm. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. If the son of Hermes will know. Eh. Uh, knock, knock, knock! Oh, ah. Uh, one second. Uh, okay. Uh. Uh, Amia. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm doing well. What's oh. with the late visit? I wasn't expecting anyone. Uh, well, uh, I'm sorry to apologize to just step in and all, but oh, I'm please, looking. Please come in. Come in. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. Should probably do so. Uh, I'm looking for King Mitch. Um, he's been gone. Oh. Hasn't said anything since the uh, Atlantis Ball that took place recently, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure where he might be. Interesting. Um, I haven't seen him in a few days. Interesting. Yeah, he's so he's not gone. He's not mentioned where he was going. He just left. No, nope, left during the ball. Apparently, during the ball. It's very strange behavior. The king. Yeah, especially under the circumstances, and you know, trying to get the camp on board with everything. It's a bit weird. Hmm. Could this have anything to do with the prophecy? I mean, it could. It is a possibility. It's just very bizarre. It is very normally bizarre like, to leave without even yeah, mentioning it. He would normally mention it. Like, hold down the fort or, you know. But nope. Gone. It leads me to believe think... that perhaps there's something amiss. Is there any suspecting characters that could be involved? Anyone the king had troubles with? Uh, probably a few. He has a long list of people he didn't get along with. Um, there are a few new individuals. Uh, yeah, there's a few people I could, you know. There's the two new uh, Loki children who were unfortunately mm. my uncles. Unfortunately, your uncles. Yeah. I've heard some rumors of them and their mischievous acts. Yeah. They're a piece of work, the pair of them. Um, so there's those two, and... You know, I heard he had troubles with a guy named Impu. Mm, Impu. I've heard of him. Someone yeah. from the camp. Yes. From uh, after you were there. And, of course, the Brian fiasco. You probably heard about that, too. Of course. I mean... I think we've heard about most fiascos that happened in that camp over the time that myself or the king wasn't there. Yeah, I've heard stories. Not the, the good kind, either. But on the well, question you know. of where he might go... Yeah, um, it's so bizarre. I mean, it's not quite something I should be revealing to anybody, but uh, the king appears to have lost his trident. He lost the trident. Yes. Oh. Well, he didn't necessarily lose it. It's a wrong way of putting it. No, he had it, I think, stolen. Somebody stole the trident. Yes. Well, that's not good. He who holds no. the trident controls Atlantis. Yeah, pretty much. It's quite a which big means... deal, which I feel like it might have something to do with that, but at the same that time... sounds likely. But who would steal the trident? Who's stupid enough to do that? Again, there's a few names, my uncles. <laughs> you um, don't think that they would be silly enough to take the trident from Atlantis, right? Surely not. Um, Riggy, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, one of, of them, most definitely. Do you have a suspect on someone that might, but then where would they take it and how would the king know where to go? Why wouldn't he mention this to you? I don't know. It's a multitude of things I don't know. Then again, him and Rash decisions. Our king. Indeed. What would you do without Stop him? as they come. Yes. You can't really sway him when he's made a decision. He probably decided right away he was going after the trident. Oh, 100%. I wouldn't put it past him. It's so weird. Huh. 
Oops. Yes. Alright, I can't be much help. I could maybe use some sort of powers to maybe try and track him down. Do you have anything of his? Oh, uh, no. Not necessarily. Hmm. So I think if I used a map and one of his belongings, I might be able to get an inkling of where he's been. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, no. And sadly enough, I don't necessarily carry his belongings on my person. That would be a little bit weird. That would be a little bit strange. That is unfortunate. Um, It's a good hmm. idea, though. Uh, I could keep a listening out, you know, with the Hermes service going around and us passing mail through the godly lands. We may hear of whispers of the son of Poseidon. Hopefully, that'd be great if you'd let me know. Of course. Anything that I can do to help. And again, Wonderful. I did come to Atlantis to avoid getting involved with all of this. Ah, uh, well, you know, everyone dips their toe into things they don't belong into. That's true, you can't avoid it forever. You've certainly shown that when uh, the first campers of Olympus were in uh, the Oasis. Well... After you lose someone, it's hard to go back to that life. Yeah. I can understand that. But it's fine. But we move on. Exactly. But yes, I appreciate the help, nonetheless. And, uh... Of course. And I mean, let's, let's not lose our king. If there's anything I can do to help. Yeah. I'm more than willing. I don't think losing him would be good in the slightest right about now. No, this is definitely not the best of times with this prophecy coming out and, you know. The people being the way they are. The people. It, would, it wouldn't be good, especially with uh, us allowing Camp Oasis to come here. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, but, you know. We have a peace yeah. treat at least. We do, until somebody breaks it. And uh, that someone's probably going to be Ricky. Yeah, you oh, keep brother. saying this person's name a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> they don't seem it. like they'd be any good. Yeah, no. Maybe we should just lock them away. I'd like that. The king well, doesn't agree. That's Yeah, it's not necessarily our jurisdiction. Well... Maybe I'll speak to Silo, see if him and his camp can lock them away. That would be more useful, yes. If he's not scarred from the ball, that is. Hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. True. Very true. Well, I'll get out your hair and uh, I appreciate all of the help. Of course, if you need anything, feel free to stop by. I shall indeed. Thank you, good sir. I will be Watch on my yourself. way. Uh, ah. I wasn't expecting you to be in here. King Meech! You're back. Uh, yeah, I'm back from, uh, what's, I guess, an unpaid vacation. Uh, unpaid vacation? Yeah. I, I finally met that uh, Colin person you mentioned a while ago. Oh, so he finally came to see you. Uh, more like the opposite. You went to see him? Wait, why would you go out of your way to see him? I found out that uh, this person took my trident. Excuse? He took the trident? Apparently so. At least that's what it seems like from everything going on. He's scared of water. Why would he take the trident? Why would he even come here? It was apparently used for his island. Apparently his island was dying and he needed the trident to basically help it. I don't know why he didn't just ask. I probably would have helped him if he just asked. I told him if he had any problems just to ask you. <sighs> it's fine though. Uh, I can't. A lot of trouble. Yeah. Regardless, as much as I want to go knock some sense into him, I probably shouldn't. 
<sighs> I ended up taking a nice field trip to the the realm of monsters. That was a nice time. Very well, you, interesting. You've been strange. there too. Ooh, it's icky. <sighs> it's not a great place. I met a, well, I met a very interesting individual there. That also seemed to dislike Colin. Oh. Uh, apparently, a person by the name of Seek. Uh, I don't know if that rings a bell for you, but no, it won't for no me, bells. obviously. Regardless, it looked like this Seek didn't really like Colin, so I guess I'll leave uh, Colin in Seek's hand for now. Oh, you set him free? Well, I had to. It was the only way I can get this back. I approve. You did good, sir. Oh. <sighs> Wish it would have been a little easier, but... Regardless, I don't expect things to be easy. Nothing. So what have you been easy. up to? Uh, well, at the moment, not too much. Um, you know, cleaned up after the ball. The ball was somewhat successful, apart from that Roman handing out tomb juice. Which was That's a good. big problem. And then, uh, yeah. I don't know, I went gallivanting looking for you because you just poofed. Yeah, I apologize. I kind of left the ball in Zylo's hand for the last moments of it. Just ran off as soon as I could the moment I that sensed the trap. That was probably the last person it. you should leave the ball's hand into. It was the only person that I ran into. Regardless, yeah. it looks like nothing bad happened. I've noticed the citizens seem a lot more cheery, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I, I all I seen all night he was being a uh, you know, t dragged around by two estranged uh, fox individuals. Yeah, I uh, I ran into them as well with the Silo. They seem very. Uh, oh, iffy. I avoided them like the plague. Mm. They was very loud. Yeah, it was getting to a point where me and Marshy might have had to take care of them if things got bad, but it looks like Silo handled it. Handled it, yes. That's what we'll call it. <sighs> oh well. If you want my honesty, I'm quite exhausted. I didn't you think being rest. in a different realm would drain me. Uh, I'm sure, I gotta go back and looking into some more paperwork, of course. Uh, of course, naturally. I did. Yeah, I did promise those two shark fellows at the ball that I'd look into, uh, their requests, so I probably should. Oh, yeah, you probably should. Good idea. All right, well, let me be off to my office. Obviously, if you need to go anywhere or do anything, let me know. Oh, I, uh, I heard some stupidity of Riggy in the distance, so, yeah. I should yeah. probably check on Riggy and his brother. Yeah, it's just probably surprising. best. But yes, you get some rest and put your feet up. Mm. I'll try. It might only last two minutes, but we'll see. All right. As long as your feet just make sure ground, Riggy doesn't matters. do anything more stupid, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yes. Good idea. Anyway, this is going to uh, be awkward because we're going to walk the same way, but it's fine. All right. Come on. Let's go. Uh, 